today I will show you how you can install uh, an image uh, uh, storage tool uh, called o Omiro and uh, it's a very interesting tool which can help you in viewing, organizing, analyzing and sharing uh, the data. Uh, it's particularly uh, covering all major microscope formats uh, but it has more than 140 image file formats uh, support. Um, they have a very good documentation on how to install Omiro on different platforms, but I selected CentOS 7, uh, so I will follow this guide uh, to uh, install Omiro server first, and then uh, the Omiro web interface, which uh, interact with the uh, Omiro server on the back end. Okay, so um, I will do this installation on the Google Cloud um, VM. Uh, so let's switch to the Google Cloud and uh, create the instance first. So you can name instance as uh, Omeo YouTube. And uh, I am in London, so I will select uh, London. and uh, the, the default is fine and uh, I allow HTTP and HTTPS and uh, I will select the image here by default it's Debian I will select CentOS and then from here I will select CentOS 7 uh, 20 GB is fine, so let's select this and then click create. Okay, so it's creating Omiro YouTube, and once it is done, we will log into SSH. Okay, now click this SSH. And let's follow this guide. So the server is still booting. Okay, we got to the shell. Now what we need to do is sudo dash i to go to administrative mode and then I will create a file slash tmp slash settings dot env. Okay and I will go into the insert mode and copy the settings from their website okay you if you want you can change the user uh, for production version you will definitely change these uh, DB user and DB password and similarly this but I will keep the same for uh, for simplicity okay so I will save the changes and now I will install these uh, requirements. So let's do this. And the second one. Okay, when this is done, then I will install these other tools, then zip wget and uh, bc. Okay, now I will install Java 11 OpenJDK. And after that, I will install Python 3. Okay. So Python 3 is installed and now I will press CD just to make sure that I am in the home directory and then I will run this command to install ICE 3.6.5 okay and then I will install first we download it and now I am installing it.
okay it's done so now I will um, apply all the environment variables that we saved in e slash tmp slash settings dot env into the bash underscore profile okay and I will do source dot bash underscore profile okay so to confirm that the that the environment variables are uh, set properly what I will do is I will do echo dollar and omiro underscore db user so it should be db underscore user and you can see that I got so the environment variables are working fine uh, we installed uh, ice so now we to install the uh, postgres sql uh, server we will install this tool okay now i noticed that this um, rpm is not working its address is changed so i uh, found another link which is working so i will install the other one instead of this one okay so that one worked and now we will continue with these commands okay that's done now this one that's done now this one done So this will start Postgres server and this will enable Postgres server so that it starts on the next boot. Now we need to create the Omiro server user. So I will paste this command to give executable permission and give this command and to make the directory I will make this and then to change the ownership of that directory I use this command. now we will create the uh, user in the database okay so we created the role and We create the DB and we display the tables, uh, etc. The the database created properly and stuff. Okay, now for the Omiro server installation, we will run this command. We will still as root. Okay, then this command after this we run this command okay now we run this command to remove the directory and get the server and we unzip the Omiro server once it's done okay now we change the ownership of the directory and make the a link for the directory now we need to log in as omiro server user that we created in the early step so let's copy this okay now what we need to do is we need to make sure that the 
the same variables are also um, available to uh, the Omiro server user. Okay, so to do this, we can do um, we can do the same TMP settings dot env file into the base underscore profile of the Omiro server user, and then we will do source and dot bash underscore profile okay and we will check again uh, just to make sure that these variables are available so equal dollar yes they are pointing to the correct location okay so now we can copy one by one these or you can copy paste all of them Okay, now back uh, to the Omiro's, uh, so the following step must be run as Omiro server. So now, since we are already Omiro server user, you can see we can now start the Omiro server by Omiro admin start. Okay, you can see that it's starting. It takes a bit of time to start, and now it is started. So um, before doing the next step, uh, let's stop it. Although it's not in the documentation, but I think it's important to stop it before doing the next step. So we started just to make sure that the um, server is properly installed and it, it starts up on the command. Okay, so now we are done with the Omiro server user. Uh, what we need to do is we need to create a startup uh, file. So for that, copy the link address and press CD to make sure you are in the home directory. Now W get and get paste that link. Now we got that link. Now we need to copy it to the Omiro directory. So I copied it. Now we need to reload the systemctl daemon, enable it uh, to start on the boot, and uh, and we can start it by saying start. Okay. Okay, it started uh, and to secure it, we will run this command. To check that the Omiro server is running, we will do systemctl and status uh, Omiro dish server. And you can see that it is actively running and it is also uh, enabled, the system enabled to start on the next boot. So that's done for the part one of the Omiro server installation. Uh, I will be back uh, in for uh, Omiro web uh, installation in, in the part two of the video. Thank you for watching.